when you were sort of approaching this project, um, how was it something that came up sort of naturally, or did you set out to to, to document these people at, at this location? It was. I mean, it was an accident mm -hmm. and pretty natural. But uh, yeah, I went out for a bingo game, volunteering when I worked in corporate land and I went out there and volunteered and played bingo and met a lady called Ruthie who was 101 playing on her iPad and <laughs> just yeah you know, I took 300 photos that day instead of playing bingo and then just felt compelled to tell this story and I met so many amazing individuals there that I just started going out there more and uh, ended up leaving my job to go and do this they just kind of called me out these folks they were amazing. Um, how important was it to see, because I, mean, I, I feel like with this, it could have easily been um, just shooting interviews, just sitting in a chair and just talking with them one on one. But I feel like part of the part of what makes it such a such an energetic movie is is seeing them in action and 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 seeing them you know going about their daily lives and actually um, you know you know uh, doing the things that they have always loved doing. Well, the moving around, I mean, it's more about sort of the connectivity of them and you know within the environment at the motion picture television fund home the you know they're always passing or at the same table and they're in this physical proximity always and so we we filmed that and let the natural transitions dictate in a way the flow of the film and then there's the larger connection and connectivity of the past and their history and the places they worked and the people they knew. So it was that layering of the space and them and then their, their past sort of stories that made it kind of interesting. 